Okay, everyone, how about August energy report? Okay, I'll try to make this quick. I know I say that every time and it's never quick. Okay, so, um, you know, when I was checking in for August, I was getting, I was getting this feeling like there was like a wall, not a wall blocking me, blocking me, but like a wall of energy or stuff that was just a lot of stuff. And I couldn't quite penetrate it. Um, but I did inquire to what I was feeling uh, later on. And I'll tell you about that in just a second. But here are some of the images that I got for, remember, this is, isn't necessarily just for August. It's like what's being activated now this month. Okay, first thing I saw was like this, I keep seeing fire. So I think fire, um, fire metaphors, heat, obviously, you know, in the US it's extremely hot. So, or yeah, um, Northern hemisphere. So maybe it's gonna get even hotter. I don't know how it can, never say that. Um, anyway, so I was see seeing like lava, fire, global heating up. And um, when I asked about what is what are you trying to tell me, I heard activation. So it's activations, but I think there are going to be literal fires. And I just saw today that um, Joshua Tree National Forest in California is on fire. And um, oh, that breaks my heart because I absolutely love those trees. They're gorgeous. It's a deserty area, which is what I love. Um, anyway, so I was hearing activation and seeing lightning bolts and hearing shocks. So I think what's coming in, something's initiating this month, and I'll tell you about that in just a second. Um, things are starting to really heat up, quote unquote. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to have fires. I think maybe even uh, more volcanic activity. But I think the fire is about an activating fire. And I didn't even think about the lion's gate. I don't know much about that, but perhaps something in the stars is, is being activated. Okay, the words that I heard was rip roaring, which I thought, okay, I don't know what that means. And um, I didn't know how to say this, but I could see it written R-A-U-C-U-S, which is apparently raucous. Um, so rip roaring means full of energy and vigor. So lots of energy starting to, to, to spark off this month. And raucous means a loud, disturbing noise. So who knows? Maybe what's kicking off is going to be rather disturbing. I mean, I'm pretty sure it will be. Um, some of the images that I saw, I did see Hunter in handcuffs. So we'll see if that happens. And let's see. I did see a parachuter coming into what looked like an arena or <clears throat> some kind of event where people were sitting in stadiums. And I, I inquired about that. And um, it, it appears that it's going to be some kind of, mm, oh, what is the word I'm looking for? Coordinated event. I don't know if there's going to be more than one parachuter, but there's going to be an event or a new story about a parachuter um, who wants to disturb and disrupt and perhaps cause harm. And it's in, and it's when I was inquiring, I asked, is this kind of a terroristic event in nature? And I got, yes. And it, I'm not saying it's a terror event, but in nature that somebody wants to disrupt something and it's at a political event. Um, and possibly wanting to cause harm. So we'll see if that comes in. I also saw, again, I saw Big Ben Parliament. I saw that a couple months ago, and I, I thought I saw a fire in Big Ben, but that was, of course, meta metaphoric. And so is this. What I saw, once again, I saw Big Ben Parliament, and I heard London Falls. And I saw, like, old-timey kind of uh, scene uh, bombs and old planes. And it was just kind of, now it's just, it said London Falls, not all of England. Um, yeah. So I thought that was really interesting. And I did inquire, is this, 
metaphoric in nature. And I got ding, ding, ding. Yes, yes, it is. <laughs> so, so don't worry, people in London. I don't think anyone's dropping bombs on you. Um, oh, there's my cat. Can you hear? <laughs> uh, letting me know he came back inside. Okay, so let me go. And remember, I was saying that I was feeling this heavy energy for August that I couldn't quite penetrate. I couldn't get past. So I asked, what, what was that about? <clears throat> and I, I said, is this some kind of big event? Ooh, yes, warm. Is it a happening? Yes, like one happening. Yes. In the US, no. Uh, global or collective? Ding, ding, ding. Does this have something to do with the Lion's Gate? No. Is it energetic? Yes. Is it astrological? Yes, you're getting warm. Is it sun related? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Is it a flare or a CME? Ding, ding, ding. So um, who knows? We might have um, coming in the near future, not just in August, some more solar activity that perhaps globally we experience something. That's what was indicated here. But I could just feel, what I'm feeling is that August is kicking off like everything. Yeah, it feels really not heavy, but thick. Yeah, lots of heavy energy or thick energy. Okay. Um, you know, last time I talked about like a new, nu I heard nuclear, nuclear emissions. And right after I posted that, all I kept hearing in the news was some was stuff about nuclear this, nuclear that, and how the Russians were trying to take over a Ukrainian nuclear. Anyway, I keep hearing this word nuclear. Of course, you know, maybe because I'm looking for it, but it does appear, let me go back because I did another inquiry later, that there's some kind of nuclear something something news about nuclear that is going to happen but i get that it's in china so we'll see okay the hexagram that i got for uh this month was hexagram 55 lines one and two and you know i was reading it and i was like wow this really it wasn't quite resonating until I got to line one where it was saying, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. So hexagram 55 is, is called abundance. And basically what it's talking about is um, for, for you to live in abundance, the, uh, you know, abundance and prosperity is the giving natural giving nature of the cosmos. And if you're in alignment with the cosmos, then you will live abundantly and Consequently, or subsequently, if you're not, then, you know, you don't live so abundantly. However, it says when this, when line one refers to the collective, which is what I'm reading it for, it talks about, it points to the inevitable fall that follows upon every rise. For example, the fall of ancient empires, leaders, modern dictators. And I thought, how crazy is that? I heard London Falls. And again, I think that this it is metaphor for like a like a really well-known established uh, monarchy that's going to fall. Not necessarily that monarchy, but it I think what we're seeing is the beginning, the start of the fall, as if we haven't already, but like something's kicking off. The fall of the empire is coming, the, the collective empire. And then the next line uh, refers to just, it's called the darkening effect of a solar eclipse. So saying like things are getting darker and we're going to have lots of misunderstandings going on due to lies that were being told, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, so things are kicking off, but here's what also struck me. It was like, oh, this is what you mean by the 55th gene key. What's being activated this month is what Richard Rudd talks about in the 55th gene key. You know, he talks about that this genetic coding 55 and 49, 59, 55 and 59, and then 39, which is liberation, liberation, freedom, 
and transparency all get kind of get activated. And there's, and he talks about in 2027 that there was going to be a shift in consciousness in 2027 that's activated by the 55th gene key. But what I'm getting is the sage is telling us the in, initiating energies for that shift are starting now. The fall of the empire is kicking in. It's going to get even darker. But the shift, the shift is <laughs> is hitting the fan, but the shift will happen. And, and then, of course, it'll take three years for the manifestation. Love that magic number three. For that manifestation to show itself in a in a real obvious shift in consciousness in 2027. So just when I thought I wasn't getting the right stuff, I was like disappointed and it finally kicked in. And this feels really right to me that the activation of the 55th gene key starts now, beginning in August. Let me see, what else? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. August is a quiet time. No, energetically very active, yes. Uh, lots, oh, and what I was asking is August kicking off lots of energetic events. I was envisioning external obvious energetic events and I got yes but not really um but then I asked is there lots happening beside behind the scenes and, and little to see on the outside yes um do we anticipate a major shakeup for the Bidens yes impeachment no but Biden will be will Biden be implicated ding 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 I mean already is but I think in a more um, uh, legal way. Um, will this affect Biden's term? No. Um, okay, I can't read my writing. We'll just move on because I know this is already longer than it should be. Um, and then continued bad news for Trump? No. It was like after this third indictment, that's enough. And I said, oh, well, will the focus be off Trump and then move to Biden? Ding, ding, ding. So poor Trump, all of his stuff. I, I think the third one's the charm. Who knows? I'm sure he'll have continued stuff. But hopefully the focus will now move to Biden and his um, <laughs> wonderful family, as it should. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Why was I asking another another war coming? No, I don't know why I was asking some of these questions. Some sort of nuclear event? Yes. U.S. No. Ukraine? No. China? Yes. Um, <laughs> let's see. Flair, August. Anything else? Fall of an empire. Collective misunderstandings. Oh yeah. So when I decided, okay, can you show me anything else? What I was seeing was like lots of lots of smoke, you know, like those scary movies. The the fog is rolling in on both. I have no idea what it means on both uh, east and west coast, but particularly in the east coast, rolling in. It was like an ominous feeling, and I did see New York a fiery event near the Statue of Liberty. And um, it had, and then I saw a plane explosion. Now I know that seems just like 9-11 as if I'm remembering it, but it felt like two separate events. So I don't know if there's gonna be fiery event in New York and it had the 9-11 feel to it. Maybe that's some kind of, who knows? These this could also be metaphors. Perhaps a, a plane explosion in the air. I heard Mount Vesuvius saw an avalanche. So I don't know if it's specifically Mount Vesuvius or the fact that um, there's going to be some volcanic activity or a, an avalanche of some sort somewhere. And then I asked, okay, anything in political? Because you know, I don't practice doing the psychic intuitive stuff. So I, I'm I'm just, it's like pulling teeth for me. And every time I try to get um, 
specifics, I'm like always way off. I should just give you the images and you figure it out. I said, anything in the political arena? And then I suddenly saw Kamala Harris at the podium making an announcement and it felt serious. And that's all I got. Okay, so I think this is rather exciting. Starting now for the next three years, we're in it. We're, we are in the activation and initiation process of that 55th gene key. 2027, here we come, but hang on to your hats. Okay, bye.